Hello, manifesting generators. Amy Energy here with your month ahead tarot reading for the month of June. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Please use your own intuition. If you would like to book a personal with me, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. All right, manifesting generators. We are working with the next world tarot this month. We're going to see where we are at currently. What we are walking away from. And what's new in June? Okay, love the Two of Cups coming out here. Ace of Swords over your readings. So I really like this. I feel like there's a lot of new energy here. We are having a lot of realizations coming into the month of June. We are here in the chariot. We know where we are going. We know the destination. And I feel like we are very determined. Okay, we're going to clarify with the Pamela Coleman Smith deck. All right, Queen of Cups coming out here for my manifesting generators. So, you know, I feel like, wow, yes, I was just going to say, I feel like there could be psychic abilities here for some of you. Six of Cups, I just feel like you understand how to relate to people. You are a very loving energy, like you're very generous with your love. And because of that, you build really strong bonds with people. So I feel like the Six of Cups is, you know, it's really beautiful, right? I feel like it's showing you know, just how connected you are to everyone around you. I really love this energy here. Okay. Let's see what we are walking away from here is uh, the Knight of Wands, the fire starter. So I feel like we are walking away from, yeah, like a chaotic situation. I feel like we're a very creative person here, However, with the Knight of Wands, I feel like, um, you know, the way it's showing up here with the Chariot, I definitely feel like we could be just all over the place or that could have been the way it's been for us for a while or the way it was for us in the month of May. But I feel like we were navigating a lot of tower moments. There's been a lot of like upheaval just a lot of unexpected things happening. Okay, but the Empress is here also. So, you know, I feel like it's, all of this chaos has been really valuable. It's, you know, kind of expanded your ability to love. It's made you really look at the way that you love, the way that you want to be loved, what makes you comfortable, what kind of spaces do you need to create to be able to support your creativity okay the two of cups is here and this is what's new so i love this because i kind of feel like you're the person right my manifesting generators you're that person who's really able to hold space for other people right you could actually be psychic be a working psychic or you could just have you know, psychic ability, like you know how the people around you are feeling, like you can pick up on their energy. So, you know, that can be a dangerous place to be when we're dealing with family and, or, you know, just really close relationships with other people who may not be on the same spiritual page as us because then we end up, you know, um, like kind of, intuiting and anticipating their behavior and over functioning okay so I kind of see that that can make things a little bit chaotic for us so we're 
kind of walking away from that chaos and the two of cups is here. So I definitely feel like it's allowing us to either give so much more of ourselves to an existing relationship. I mean, completely transforming an existing relationship, or we could be, you know, starting a new relationship and we could be ending a cycle here of pain. Sorry if you can hear that airplane, but um, 10 of swords over your readings. So I definitely feel like, you know, coming into June, you could still be feeling a little bit of a sting from an ending here. However, this was an ending that needed to happen. I feel like new connections are coming in as a result of this. They're going to be very supportive. Again, it could be a love relationship. If it is, I feel it's completely different than anything you've ever experienced. Um, or like, like I said, this could be an existing relationship for some of you that's had a lot of ups and downs and... You know, there's just a lot of tremendous growth and transformation here. So I love that. I have here the Astro Elemental and the Airmail Oracle by Sarah Stacy. Her website is in my description box. So definitely go check out her work. Highly recommend. Okay, we have ground. So I do feel like we're coming into June very sweet, grounded. Okay, I feel like you know, we're having a lot of realizations, right? We have that ace of swords over the reading. And all of these realizations that we're having are helping us to come into this month a lot more grounded, just kind of understanding the whys behind certain things that are happening, okay? Or certain things that have happened. And that's enabling us to just change, right? If we can see how something happened, then we can avoid it happening again. Okay, um, check reserves coming out and inspire on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you do very much inspire people. With check reserves coming out, I just feel like there could be some, you know, issues with you really bringing in the abundance that you need or, you know, the amount that's going to really make you feel secure. Um, with this check reserves, I feel like this message is, you know, that we're kind of walking away from this space where we're always like checking our bank account or checking, checking up on what we're doing, trying to see if it's lucrative, right? We're like releasing that um, because, like the Empress was here and we are, we're understanding that, you know, we move when we're inspired and when we move on our inspiration, it, it's going to work out. Like we're just in a more trusting energy by the end of June here. We're moving out of, you know, any type of scarcity and just kind of coming into this space of, divine support here slow down and honor routine wanted to come out so manifesting generators you need to slow down i know you have that sacral energy but it does not mean that you have unlimited energy okay soar is here so i feel like this is a i feel like slowing down and just honoring a routine is what is going to allow you to actually soar and not have to you know when we soar like yeah you're getting far you're getting you're flying high but you're not putting that much effort into it right you're just soaring you're just like gliding through the air with ease and I feel like that's you know we're just moving out of having to struggle having to navigate tower after tower we're moving into soaring okay stand still is over your reading so i feel like we could have been dealing with some stagnant energy it's been taking a while for things to flow and that can be really frustrating but pleasure is on the bottom of the deck and i feel like pleasure is the answer pleasure is your password are you checking in with you know with that part of you are you feeling pleased with the work you're doing 
Okay, I am going to leave it there. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. Everything else you need is in the description box below. I love you. Take care.